friends, this video is for our two-year-old's room for March 27th, which is week four. A month long, we've been asking the question, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. And our memory verse, come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19. So this week, we are looking that Jesus is a good friend to everyone. We're going to end the month talking about a time when Jesus fed 5,000 hungry people after they had been listening to him teach all day. What kind of friend is that? A good friend. That's what kind. And that's what Jesus is. Jesus is a good friend to everyone. So, jumping into our leader guide for today, we would love for you to join us at 820 and 1020 in the garage or room for coffee and donuts and most importantly prayer to kick off the morning. Then just make sure that you're in your room by 830 and 1030. When kiddos start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, they can play with toys. Start to clean up at about 5 after. And then you have a couple of interactivities. The first one is, oh, I forgot to go and get this before I started making the video. But I'll have a couple of cones and a couple of hula hoops. And you can have the kids work together to pick up the hula hoop and go and put it over the cone. So you're just going to say, these are a big hula hoop. We need two friends to carry it all the way to that cone. And then have them work together and say... Thanks for helping each other. In our Bible story today, we're going to hear about how Jesus helped a big group of people. Jesus is the best friend ever. And then the second activity, which I also forgot to get together to show you, um, I'm going to have a tub. It will not have rice in it. It will probably have blue pom-pom balls in it and some little fish. And so what you're going to do is have the kids use their hands to find the fish. And when they find the fish, have them pull it out. And when all the fish are out of the tub, have the children match each fish to its Hair to its mate. Um, so I might have two bins with one fish in each bin and they have to find the fish from both bin and then pair them together. So they have to work together. So we're going to use our hands to go fishing. Let's dig through the water and find the fish. And when you find a fish, pull it out. And when we have all the fish out of both bins, we're going to pair them up. And today we're going to hear a story about how Jesus used only two fish and five loaves of bread to feed a huge crowd. So then at 20 after, they will go out to large group time. When they get back from large group, you have a few different things you can do. First, you can practice the memory verse with the kiddos. And when they can say it, you can give them a memory verse sticker. We got a bunch of stickers. So you can sit together on the carpet to do that. Then they're going to, for their craft, they have this little Jesus storybook. So I already have all the little books folded and all the stickers are back behind. So you'll read the story with them and have them put the sticker on the page. One day Jesus was teaching a lot of people. The disciples told them to send people away to get food. But they gathered five loaves of bread and two fish and Jesus thanked God for the food. And Jesus was a good friend and made sure there was enough food for everyone. So they're going to make that little storybook. That's their craft for today. And then the last thing that they can do is you have a tunnel in your area and you're going to choose one kid to be the leader. Have the kiddos get down on all fours and line behind the leader and have the leader lead the kids around in a circle and through the tunnel while crawling saying freeze each time all the children pass through the tunnel. So when the kids freeze, ask them their bottom line question. So you say, look, our tunnel is part of a circle. So we'll probably just put the tunnel um, around the carpet so they can kind of go around the carpet and when they get to the tunnel they'll go through it um and you're gonna say you know Lola will be the leader and everybody's gonna crawl behind her around the circle and through the tunnel be sure to stay behind the leader and then when they all get through the tunnel say freeze everybody stay super still I have a question who can be friends with Jesus everybody can be friends with Jesus okay now you're gonna unfreeze and keep going and they'll just go around the circle for that that is it for this week, guys. Super simple week, but what a great lesson. Make sure for sure at 9 o'clock that they get animal crackers for their snack. We have a kiddo with an allergy, so that is super important. 11 o'clock, you can do animal crackers, too. I think the kids have been liking them. So that is it for this week, guys. Thank you for serving. This two-year-old's team is awesome. So grateful for all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for um, leading in this classroom, and we'll see you on Sunday.